Today is a new opportunity to accomplish your incredible. So let's wake up each day with a fresh mindset necessary for you to win. I welcome you to rise and shine. Morning motivation for the girl boss with author, speaker, and founder of the Prestige Society, Nicole Doss. Let's jumpstart your morning now. Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to Rise and Shine, the morning motivation podcast for the girl boss. Today, we are going to talk about work. That's right. That's our word for the day. Why? Because so many times we find ourselves in this space where we really want to accomplish a particular thing. And when we want to accomplish this particular thing, we find that we may do minimus, minimum steps, minimal steps to get there. And because we do minimal steps to get there, for some reason, we just expect this outcome to happen. Some of this is in part because we aren't sure of all of the steps that are required. Sometimes this happens in part because we are really in love with the the outcome, but when it comes to the steps to get there, we're a little shy of executing such steps because we're afraid that we may not be able to execute them well, or maybe um, we just don't want to go outside of our comfort zone and some of those steps require us to do just that. So today we're going to talk about Work, how do you plan work? How do you begin to um, really map out your week so that you are doing the work required for you to be able to reach your goals? So I, before I get started, I really just pray that this is something that motivates you today, that allows you to be able to apply this to your business And that it allows you to start seeing a difference in how you go about and uh, just accomplishing all that you do. So let's just jump into it because I know time is of the essence. And uh, for me, I got to start getting a little one up and going and she's going to start getting up and making noise. So I'm going to go ahead and try to uh, save you guys from all that because I can hear her rustling about right now. All right, so number one, when we talk about work, it's so much more than just doing these tactical activities that seem like you're busy, because we need to be mindful of busy work. And busy work is a distraction. Busy work does not yield results. Busy work is a facade. So what busy work does, it gives people this uh, this this feeling or this sense or perception that you are extremely busy. <clears throat> but what it does not do for you, the CEO of your business, it does not allow for you to yield results that you're interested in being able to accomplish. So it's not results oriented. It is just something to make you seem like you're busy. And so what it does, it drains you of your creativity, it drains you of your um, energy, and it is, it's something that takes place in absence of creating strategy, okay? So when we talk about work, the first thing I want you to do is create some type of strategy or overarching goal that you truly, truly want to accomplish with your business. And once you understand what it is that you're working towards, so let's say you're working towards being able to get a certain number of customers to sign up with your business. Uh, Let's say it's that you want to be able to get a certain amount of people to start following you. Maybe it's a certain number of people that you want on your emailing list, whatever the case may be. I want you to begin to think about what it is and I want you to write that down. So that's going to be your first step. For your challenge today when we talk about work. 
all right? Secondly, once you're done and you've mapped out that overarching strategy, the second thing I want you to do is start mapping out the steps that it will require for you to accomplish this particular goal or strategy that you have put in place for your business. So if your uh, strategy states that you need to be able to uh, acquire or obtain a hundred customers or a hundred new clients, the question then becomes, well, what is it going to take for you to get there? Uh, you know, is it going to take you 10 clients, you know, 10 calls a day out of 10 calls, you get one person. So within a hundred days, maybe you'll get a hundred clients, whatever the case may be. I need you to write down all of the steps that it requires for you to get to that point. Thirdly, I want you to ask yourself, well, what can be done? And I want, and when you think about the steps, I need the steps to be all encompassing. And, and the way that you ensure that it is all encompassing is that you don't create the steps just for your own frame of reference. You actually do some research. I'm sorry, I had to go back to number two for a moment. So what do I mean by that? Well, if you know that you need to be able to acquire a hundred customers, if this is a new a goal for you and you haven't been able to do that before in the past, then the question now becomes, uh, what steps do you need to take to ensure that this gets done? Well, okay, let's Google and see if a new business wants to acquire a hundred new customers, what are the steps this new business needs to do? And what you'll find is that there'll be plenty of articles that will tell you about it, a numbers game and how the more people you're able to make contact with will then ensure uh, the number, the, the greater number of people that you are able to uh, be able to convert to an actual customer. But then they're going to talk about follow up and follow through and then they're going to talk to you about tracking systems to make sure that your follow-up and follow-through is consistent and how many times does it take for you to touch or contact this particular potential customer before they convert to a buying paying customer and so in order so you're going to have this very comprehensive all encompassing all encompassing uh, idea of what the steps need to be in order for you to get this thing done. So when that happens, so so once you've made this overarching strategic goal for your business, once you've captured the steps that it takes for it to get done, not just from your own frame of reference, but from doing some research as well, the third thing that I want you to do is ask yourself, what do you need to do first? Of all these steps, after you brainstormed all of these steps and you've researched what needs to be done, ask yourself what needs to be done first. When you do that, begin to prioritize all of the steps that you have written down in your second step, right? So in step number two, I tell you to write down all the steps that it, it requires for you to get these things done. Okay, prioritize them. If you have four steps that you've written down, one through four, what one being what you're going to do first and everything going down sequentially, that's what you're going to capture. Why, you may ask? Because... And step number four of our challenge today, I want you to be able to then begin to plot this in your planner. Why? Because you need to anchor these things to dates. If it's something that stays in your head, it's something that will never get done. If it's something that you're not constantly looking at, it's something that you have to do, it will never get done. So this is something that is extremely important for you because the whole goal is to, and I love to always use this this phrase, but it's so what, what coaches uh, require of, or not require, but uh, try to help with their clients, which is moving that needle of progression, right? So how do I help you move the needle of progression from uh, starting something uh, to, from an idea to doing the self-work necessary for you to be able to accomplish this particular idea and then actually seeing some progression. And that progression is defined and determined by you. Your coach holds you accountable as you begin to define what those steps are uh, as far as determining what progression means. So it's really important for you to get this fifth piece, which is an accountability partner. And this accountability partner is going to help you really along the way when you become challenged, when you feel blocked by something. Uh, right now in our 
mastermind sessions, I have what's called accountability sisters. And so the accountability sisters kind of help the women, um, you know, help each other as they go through their goals so that there's just no conversation around what things are we celebrating as far as low hanging fruit milestones, as well as what are some things that we really need to talk about a little bit more in depth because there is nothing happening or there is a block or there's some kind of barrier that is uh, keeping that individual from being able to accomplish her goals or complete assignments from week to week. So it's really important for uh, you to have that accountability partner because we know that there's only going to be a certain level of work that you are going to do. And then what ends up happening from there is that you then allow um, you know, you, you're able to, to kind of do a course correction when someone else holds you accountable. When someone says, like my daughter, my oldest daughter, she holds me accountable all the time. We know Wednesdays is Bible study and when I don't go, there's always this accountability about why are we, like, why is she not going to Bible study? Like, no, she wants to go, she wants me to go. So there's this accountability that happens if I don't go to the gym and she knows that she wants to come with me to the gym. There's this accountability about, mommy, why are we not going to the gym? We need to go to the gym. So there's this accountability because if it was left to my own devices, we may not be going to those things because I can find a host of reasons and reasons are disguised as, you know, they're disguised as reasons, but they really are excuses that I can easily justify as to why I'm not going. And these are the things that's really important for us to begin to, to have someone there who can give you a different perspective and hold you accountable and say, wait, wait a minute now. You're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. How do we course correct? And then that's something that you then define for yourself. And then you're able to then say, okay, you're right. I need to course correct. I need to set these, these goals. I need to be able to execute these tasks. So I am super excited for you guys. And, and I hope that as you are listening to these episodes and as they're helping you how about you just really share how they're helping you share with you know your tribe share with my tribe tag me as far as things that you're doing that's helping you move the needle towards progression so remember today's word is all about work you're going to build strategy today around the things that you want to accomplish you're then going to map out the steps that it takes for you to get those things done you're then going to ask yourself what can you do first and prioritize those steps and then you're going to place those steps in a planner and do the work required all right guys have an awesome wonderful and most of all blessed day bye